Hello, welcome back to Dumb Thumbs FPV. So today's video is another frame by R3D Shifters. I said I was going to get a few of these, and I still got a couple more to go. I absolutely love this company. I love what they're doing. I love how versatile their frames are. They, it really is some cool stuff. Um, this is the 4K Whoop frame here. So it's a 75 millimeter, and it's made for HD video. So this is the, the, the camera mount that it normally comes with. And this is a really solid camera mount. And it also bolts to the frame, so it would help with Jell-O. Um, also, too, on the bottom, it's got a 20 by 20 mounting back here. So you can put your HD uh, DVR back here. So really neat stuff. Uh, the motors, you can mount uh, four-eared motors, three-eared motors, uh, 803, eight, uh, 1102s, 1103s. I mean, very versatile on the motors. You can also put a 16 by 16 stack inside here, 20 by 20 stack inside here, or just your regular whoop boards inside here as well. Um, this stuff is really, really cool. My last video was this guy right here. I put all the Mobulus 6 stuff on it. I absolutely love this thing. I mean, I beat the tar out of this thing, and nothing has broken. Um... You can see the camera mount. That's another thing that's neat about his frames, too, is that you can use different camera mounts. So I'm using this one here, and it, this is housing the uh, mobile or the uh, run cam from the Mobula 6. I have a few extra ones, because if you remember during my review of the Mobula 6, I had a bad camera, so I bought some extra ones. And I just, you know, he's got different mounts. So this is a mount here. You can also use this mount if you want to for a 14 by 14. Um... You can also have this little adapter in here and use it inside one of them. I mean, it's it's just, it, it's incredible what this guy does. So here's the deal with this. I had a Larva X. I did a review on, on the channel here. I have 10 toothpick slash twigs up here on the wall. And I wasn't flying the Larva. I was not flying the Larva X much because, and I know you're going to hate me, but this is my favorite twig. I mean, honestly, this is my favorite, and I think this little slingshot would be my second favorite, the little slingshot build that I did. But honestly, guys, I mean, this thing is just a beast, especially on 3S 520. I love the way I can throw it around. I love the way it power loops, yada, yada, yada. You've seen it in the video. So because I wasn't using the Larva X, I thought, you know what, I'll just use the electronics of the Larva X onto this frame, and I knew it was going to be porky. I knew it was going to be heavy. I wasn't expecting it to fly. I didn't think my flight times were going to be very much, and but I, I went ahead and did it anyway. So the Larva X has um, 1103 7,000 kV motors. Um, you know, it has a regular Whoop board in there, which is the Crazy Bee. I think this is the F3 board, if I remember right, or F4 board. I think this is the, the version 3 board. It's F4 version 3 board. Um, it also has a 200, you know, it's it's, a, it's one of those half boards, um, 200, v, you know, milliwatt VTX with a built-in DVR. And, I mean, it's just, I knew it was going to be heavy. You know, it's got the, uh, this here is the XM Plus, I believe, FR Sky XM Plus. I wasn't expecting much, guys, but you know what? I was wrong. This thing here flies exceptionally well. And that is unbelievable considering the all-up weight on this. This is ins insane. It's actually more than my twig. So this is 46.6 grams. Check this out. This is my twig. 45. So it actually weighs more than my little twig here. And it also weighs more than my modified trash can on the full speed frame. So it weighs more by almost 10 grams. I was shocked on how well this thing performed, how easy it was to fly. I mean, it was so beautiful. I absolutely love this thing. But don't take my word for it. Here's the flight videos. All right, so let's get the flight video in here. So this is my second flight. Um, my first flight, I got over four minutes of flight time. Now these are on the um, RDQ 350 two cell. They're HV packs, but I don't I don't charge them to HV, so I'm pretty surprised by the flight time. I mean, I'm really surprised by the flight time here. Um, I will say that it does fly heavy because it is heavy. But what I like about this, however, is the fact that I seem to have more resolution around the mid stick as than I do with my Mobula Six. Um, 
Part of that's probably because it is so heavy. But it doesn't just drop. It doesn't just climb and drop. You know, I got a lot more... I got a lot more... It, it takes a while for it to spool up and to um, spool down. So it's not like a big, huge cut, if you know what I'm saying. So throttle management on this thing is really simple. It just kind of glides around. I mean, I'm not going super fast because um, I'm trying to get a flight video without a bunch of crashing and wrecking and stuff. Um, I usually haul ass pretty good, a little bit faster than this. Um, but I mean, overall, this is just a really nice glider and I was really, I'm really happy with it. I mean, considering that, you know, it's got the same stock tune that came with the Larva X, and I just threw it in a loop and threw and guessed on props. I'm pretty happy with it, honestly. Let's see if I can go between the press here. Yeah, no problem. I mean, this is, this is actually flying. I like this. Ooh, I don't like that part, but I like it. Um, the VTX, so you're going to be seeing the DVR footage because I put a DVR in it um, that came with the Larva X, but the, um, the VTX in this isn't bad. I mean, this is a metal shop with um, a lot of interference, a lot of problems. Uh, we have television stations around us. We have a lot of Air Force stuff. So, and we have cell phone towers and everything else. And so... Um, there is a lot of interference here, so much so that we, we can only use two channels on our, our wireless router, our Wi-Fi router, because there's just too much noise. And our, our wireless phones don't perform very well here either. Um, so the VTX on this, yeah, it's, it's typical, like I'm, I normally get up here. But I think, you know, it's set at 200, so, I mean, it's, it's pretty damn solid. And the module I'm using today is the TrueD 4.0. And I actually like this module. I mean, it's, it performs really well. Um, one thing I'll say about the Larva X, though, that I should have set up my OSD a little bit better. Because I don't like the voltage on top. That's not where I normally look. I normally have all my stuff set in the lower right-hand corner where I can see it. And I also noticed, too, from that last run, it does not give me the flashing on low voltage. So I was like, okay. So you have to kind of pay attention when the battery's flashing above and take your eyes off where you're going. Um, this thing is really super easy to fly, guys. I mean, I'm really impressed by this. I didn't think I was going to be. I thought this was going to be, you know, kind of like a waste of time. Even though I'm not flying the Larva X anymore, um, I've kind of moved on. But, so now I'm able to use the actual guts in it, at least for something. And wow, I mean, honestly, I am really shocked by this. You know, another thing I like about this, I noticed that you can actually land it. So three minutes and 58 seconds, um, you know, the Mobulus 6, what I mean by that is the Mobulus 6, by the time it flashes, it's dead. I can't even make it back to the table. I'm really impressed by this. I mean, super impressed. I, I Wow. Okay. All right, guys, that's the flight video. I have another one coming up, uh, me not talking into the microphone or anything. I'll, I'll put some music to it so you're not bored. What, what it is, basically, is because I'm not talking into the microphone and I don't care, I already got my footage for the video, for the first flight video, um, I go a little bit faster. But I'm still getting used to it. And what can I tell you? I mean, I wasn't expecting this thing to fly hardly at all. I, I figured it was just going to be horrible, and yet it's not. It's actually better than my Mobius 6 and that's from my type of flying now everybody flies different everybody has different ideas you know different expectations versus reality I love floating around my shop and I'm not really into the whole hardcore racing and stuff I don't know if that's really this is gonna be a really good frame for that I don't even know if it was intended for that I think it was just intended to be an HD frame for HD video um, but I love it I abs I love that resolution you know it just it's so smooth. It's so butter smooth as opposed to slam up, slam down, slam up, slam down. Um, I love the frame. I love the, I, I, 
this is built by somebody who 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 builds quadcopters and flies quadcopters. I can tell because, I mean, they made different camera mounts for up front. You know, you can mount different motors in it. A 16 by 16 stack, 20 by 20 stack. It's probably the most versatile frame I've ever seen. And you know, of course, whoop board. It is totally versatile, versatile. And I love how this material just takes a beating, and it just keeps. I mean, I think I broke off one of the ears actually right here. There's an ear, there's there's ears for when you're like upside down and you can use turtle mode, and I think I broke one off. I hit so hard, but wow! I mean, it's just I can't believe how this thing flies. I guess they're going to come out. I hope that they're going to come out with a 75 millimeter uh, frame based off their Muon frame, and I'm also hoping that they come up with a similar mount that that bolts right to the frame like this one does, but for a 14 by 14 camera native. You know, so there's not a lot of slop in here. It's just tight um, to kind of cut down on jello and stuff. Not that I got any jello out of this current camera mount, which I'm surprised with this camera. But yeah, I really am. I'm hoping they come up with a 14 by 14 mount here that bolts to the frame for their Muon. But who knows? Um, yeah, what can I tell you? This is not an advertisement for them, guys. I actually paid for this. It was like 22 bucks or something like that. I paid for the last one. I'll pay for the next one. I mean, honestly, for the price and what we're getting, the durability and everything else, is, and just the versatility is, is amazing. So that's the video. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And I got a flight video coming up right now that I'll put some music to it and stuff. Just, you know, just kind of chop some stuff together. I don't know, for your entertainment value. Thanks, guys. Have a great night.